Hey guys, Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, back with another Tahoma video. I thought we'd just do another demonstration of using Tahoma since it's so similar to OpenTunes. Um, I can make a video about the specific differences at another time, but right now I just really want to get into using the thing again. It's been a little while because my main project, Castle Dark, is still being worked on in OpenTunes. I haven't completely switched over yet, although I have dabbled in some Castle Dark scenes using Tahoma. But it's been a little while since I've used it, so I'm eager to get back to it. Today, I'm going to be drawing this scene for my upcoming animated series video. Um, it's just a bedroom scene with a TV in it. So every video, I usually redraw the TV. And I kind of want to make a definitive edition. So this is just a sketch of the TV right here. And we're going to be drawing that in Tahoma. Of course, the reason I chose Tahoma to draw this is because Tahoma has those powerful perspective tools and you can make really, really easy perspective. So I'm just gonna prop this up on my speakers and there we go, there we go. So I can look at it the entire time. As a lot of you don't know, I did move the studio. So if things look a little weird or they sound a little different, that's why. I'm also still trying out this new webcam thing. So if it doesn't work, then you won't see it. But if it is working, then you definitely will see it. And I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Without further ado, let's get started. a new raster level nope it's all the way over here this is the struggle of having two monitors people so i'm gonna make this the perspective level now hold on let me make sure nothing else is running in the background because last time i had open tunes running in the background with tahoma they were not friends so i'm going to start with a sketch then I'm, I'm going to establish the perspective and then we're going to do the final liner i'm not going to do anything fancy like vectors or something like that just regular raster level and uh, we're just going to keep it pretty chill All right, that looks like about enough of a sketch. Now I'm going to get into the line art, which is just gonna be on another raster level. So I don't really have to keep these lines very consistent. I'm kind of going for like a chill kind of feel. So if they're pretty bumpy, that's actually okay. I just realized I don't have a vanishing point on this one, on this level. So that's why everything looks, is gonna look so wrong. So it's a good thing we just started with the TV and didn't do anything else. So let's make a vanishing point. That's control alt, there we go. So never forget to make your vanishing point. That's gonna make drawing a little confusing. <laughs> now we can make the planks of wood. Let's make them kind of uneven. Then I'll add some imperfection to them after. Yeah, so I think my only gripe so far with Tahoma has been performance. Now, right now, it's performing great. Um, and I can't really explain the thing that happened earlier. I'm not really sure what that was. I won't blame that on the software. That could have been something running on my computer. But still, though, I think OpenTunes does run slightly smoother still. Which, will I think in the coming weeks, months, are, is definitely going to be remedied. 
I think the performance is going to keep getting better and making this an, a better option for people who want to animate for free. It's Total Tooth didn't change a lot about this. It's still it's still a lot like Open Tunes. So you're not going to be confused getting to know how to use it. And it has every, all the features that Open Tunes has. Tahoma is complete with all the features that Open Tunes has, but just with the added benefit of perspective tools, a super intuitive brush, new icons, and it's easier to use. I didn't mention this earlier, but I definitely want to get to adding some effects today, seeing how that how that stuff goes down in Tahoma. It's really nice to get those tiny little perspective corrections, like when you just want to draw a straight line, hold control, and then you can see what a straight line is. Because if you kind of wing it, you're going to get it wrong a ton of times. And that's why it's so nice to have these tools to just check with yourself what the actual perspective is. And then you can draw your line after. You don't even have to keep the guideline you made. Like right here. There we go. It's really nice to have that in a brush. I think this is going to make Tahoma super useful for storyboarding because you can just get down background so quick, just like how I'm doing right now. Make sure to save this time. Last time we didn't save once and that was so bad because we actually ended up getting a crash. And I was so disappointed. Um, I should have known better, seriously. From using Open Tunes all these years, I should have known better. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I need to just get the this detailing right here behind the walls, and then we should be pretty much set to do some coloring. Definitely save again. So I'm kind of going for this lo-fi, relaxing kind of effect. So I'm just gonna color everything purple first, and then we're just gonna go from there. All right, that about did it. <laughs> Took a little bit, but that's okay. Now we're gonna make some varying colors just based off of this one. So for the TV screen, we're gonna want that pretty light and pretty gray. Well, actually, I just realized something that the TV actually has to be a very obnoxious green because it's actually a video asset that we're going to be green screening.
that looks pretty dang cool now I'm just saving a couple times <laughs> and we're gonna move on to the lighting so let's name our layers first also if you want to draw outside of the camera box make sure to set your width and height um, higher than 1080p or whatever resolution you set All right, that looks perfect. Now let's add a f some effects to our light and shadow layers. Hover over to the effects room. Let's see what we can do. Go to layer blending and go to multiply. Here we go. We can bring, we can double click it to get the intensity. Um, I also wanna add a blur, so let's click on that and go to blur. So I didn't want the whole thing to do that. Let's just do like this. We should probably put it before the multiply. Stuff like that happens all the time. Sometimes you just gotta play with how you, um, where you put something in the sequence of nodes. After we get all this, let's add, after the blur, a image adjust and do RGB a scale. Just drag the alpha down to, let's put that down to 70. All right, cool, now we can play with the light. Let's go here, insert effects. Um, let's start with the layer blending, let's go to color dodge. Next, we're gonna add a glow effect before the color dodge, glow. Here's the source. Well, let's leave it at that and then just add a RGBA cut. After the glow, let's do a blur. All right, that looks pretty cool. So that's about as far as I'm gonna go in this tutorial, guys. If you wanna see me do this again, leave a comment below. I might be continuing this drawing in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, before we go, I wanna mention the winners of our Discord challenge. The winners that we had on our server for the bouncing ball across the screen challenge were Gag Hacks and Intel. Or is it Intel? I can't really tell. The cool thing is that these submissions were actually the first submission and the very last submission. So Gag Hacks had the first and Intel had the very last. The thing I liked about Gag Hacks' animation is that it had a really natural feel, it was very believable, and Intel, well, theirs had a snappiness to it that I definitely thought was awesome. Another honorable mention is Terry Fick. His was of a Pokemon ball. I thought for creativity, that was pretty cool. If you want to join these challenges, follow the link in the description below to my Discord channel and do your best because you can be featured on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you want to try Tahoma and help the bug fixing campaign, definitely download it with the link in the description below. That's all for me, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.